make sense of the universe. Make sense of the universe. Make sense of the universe. You cannot make sense of the universe! I was nine. By the lake on a bench swing with my grandfather, I said, Papa, the moon looks like the bottom of a wine bottle. He said, where did you learn that? And I said, my father. Another time we were sitting by a river and Papa said, you can never swim in the same river twice. Then he said it again, and it was a completely different story. <laughs> Everyone died in the end. <laughs> that night I hid under my covers and watched the static flashes jump between pajamas and sheets, shooting stars in my bed. And I made a million wishes that night. I wished to see heaven and hell in my dreams so I could know what eternity is like. I wished my father to answer my heart's knocking on his sternum door. I wished to see my father's face. I never met my father. I heard descriptions, but I never knew him. I was nine, and I said, Papa, father only lets me take a sip of the wine. I want to be drunk. He nodded and pointed at the moon. Our swings swung. The breeze blew a million melodies through every branch over our head. The waves continued to come in sploosh by splish. I got up and jumped into the lake. I lost my clothes. Too heavy in the water, I had to take them off. When I emerged, Papa said I looked like Adam. And I am. Aren't we all Adams in this soft parade of particles that is the universe? So when my metaphysics professor told me to make sense of the universe, I told him this story, and he laughed. A lotus flower, which fell off his tongue and onto the floor. No one knew what to say. I raised my hand. He pointed at me. I picked up the flower, held it up, and said to everyone, there are a thousand petals here, and if you pick them off one by one and say, he loves me, he loves me, he loves me. He loves me. The words will form a moon in your mouth. Swallow it and you will be drunk. Lay down, drink some water, and stop making sense. Of the universe, just dream.